Hezbollah's central headquarters in Lebanon is now a pile of ash and rubble after an Israeli airstrike on Friday took out the building in a Beirut suburb. The airstrike also leveled at least six buildings. It's being called the biggest blast in the region in the past year. And considering the ongoing conflict there, that is saying something. Lebanon's state-run news agency says multiple rescue teams were sent to sort through what remained of the building and to look for survivors. As of publish time, there was no immediate word on casualties. There were some initial reports Hezbollah's leader, Hassan Nasrallah, was killed in the strike, but Hezbollah says that's Israeli propaganda and that the terrorist leader is in a secure location. Shortly before the explosion, thousands were gathered in the Beirut suburb for the funeral of three Hezbollah members, including a senior commander. The airstrikes came on the heels of Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's fiery speech at the UN General Assembly in New York, where he vowed to continue fighting Hezbollah in Lebanon and Hamas in Gaza even after international calls for a ceasefire. Netanyahu is slated to return Friday night to Israel from New York. It's rare for him to travel on the Jewish Sabbath, marking the urgency of the situation for him back home. The U.S. State Department said it was not told of Israel's plans to strike Hezbollah's headquarters. More than 700 people have been killed in Lebanon this week alone as Hezbollah and Israeli forces continue to fight. We'll be sure to keep an eye on this story, and you can too, by downloading the Straight Arrow News app today or visiting us at san.com. For Straight Arrow News, I'm Ryan Robertson.